Hello, everybody. It's Chris Yost here at Wesley United Methodist Church. Today, we're going to continue our journey through the Gospel of John. We're reading in John chapter 18, and we'll be picking up at verse 25, reading through uh, the first part of verse 38. As we get further into the Passion narrative, I'm going to focus more on reading slowly and invite you to listen to the story, perhaps pick up a character that you follow, or let your imagination help you see what's going on in, in the narrative, and um, maybe see if you learn something uh, new uh, about it that you hadn't seen before. Anyway, picking up at verse 25. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They asked him, you are not also one of his disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Again Peter denied it, and at that moment the cock crowed. Then they took Jesus from Caiaphas to Pilate's headquarters. It was early in the morning. They themselves did not enter the headquarters so as to avoid ritual defilement and to be able to eat the Passover. So Pilate went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered, If this man were not a criminal, we would not have handed him over to you. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and judge him according to your law. The Jews replied, We are not permitted to put anyone to death. This was to fulfill what Jesus had said when he indicated the kind of death he was to die. Then Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus, and asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate asked him, What is truth? The complex story of the divine mission of Jesus to say, stay faithful even to the point of death and death on a cross the mission of the Jewish leaders to keep a pure and perfected law as they understood it, the rule of Caiaphas to be the high priest, and the rule of Pilate to go and keep the peace and to keep the tax dollars flowing into Rome. You know, it's interesting when we come into these kind of... Uh, um, I guess you'd say uh, loggerheads. In other words, where things are all jammed up and all these competing interests um, come ramming into each other. There's no way that had we not known Jesus, had you and I been like maybe Caiaphas, we would have heard uh, all these stories about Jesus and maybe even seen a few tricks and dismissed it because he didn't fit into the law. He didn't follow the rules. Perhaps if we were like Caiaphas, the high priest, we'd have realized that 
our fellow people are trying to kill this guy, and maybe really Caiaphas didn't see fit to kill him. Um, so he passes him on to Pilate. Pilate doesn't want to deal with this either. Matter of fact, I imagine Pilate had figured, well, the Jewish people are going to be occupied with their Passover. I get a few days of rest. They're not going to be occupied with things of state. So maybe he was planning on a few days off. But the kingdom of God demands a response, doesn't it? Even a response like this. In what ways does the call of God bring you in conflict with yourself? Maybe with competing interests? Maybe you've never found yourself in that position. What must it have been like? Fundamentally, what is truth? Verse 37 and 38 have been the source of countless dissertations and books and sermons. Fundamentally, what is truth? I have my own answers to that. I'm sure that I'll get to preach on this before some time. But this being a reading and a meditative study, go before God. What is truth? truth. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this passion narrative where perhaps we get to exercise, to, to express some of our own darker thoughts, our darker tendencies. Sometimes, God, how our interests and those of um, well, the groups we belong in, the society around us, Sometimes those things come at loggerheads, and how do we navigate forward? How do we make it through those days? God, as followers of yours who know how this story is going to end, we want to trust in you to always follow the truth, knowing that the truth is you. It's not a craftily formed argument. It's not simply a license play or excuse me a bumper sticker on a car or something like that but rather it's a lived reality and god we want to be people rooted in the truth guided by the truth and walking in truth in jesus name amen